For ages, manual transmissions were the best way to control the shifting in cars, but recent advances have made the automatic dominant. Manual transmissions are, unfortunately, becoming a dying breed in the US and the world, so let's take a look at why. Automatic transmissions were invented by GM in the 1930s, but for the most part they were sluggish and rudimentary. On a commercial scale, automatics weren't even implemented until after the Second World War. Even though automatics decreased the amount of work a driver needed to do, cars equipped with these slush boxes were slower and less fuel efficient. Manual transmissions could beat out an automatic any day in that era. This was mostly due to how torque is converted in each type of transmission. In manuals, nearly 100% of the torque from an engine is translated directly into wheel rotation. Early automatic transmissions, on the other hand, used a hydraulically operated converter with a pump and a turbine. The hydraulically operated automatic transmission is exactly why, for ages, it would never achieve the same level of efficiency as manuals. As a car's engine speeds up, the fluid slippage increases, beginning to spin the turbine. The turbine rotating drives the wheels, and as slippage varies, the automatic transmission shifts gears. Since there's no direct connection between the transmission pump and the turbine, efficiency in early automatics was less than 80%. However, in the last 15 years, engineers have made significant advances in automatic technologies. Automatics are now as good or better than their manual counterparts. Modern automatic transmissions can now achieve 100% torque conversion, like manuals, through the implementation of three devices. Increased gear ratios, electronic controls, and lockup torque converters. There are now automatics with 8 to 9 gears, which enable a car's engine to operate around a highly efficient 1500 RPM at all speeds. Electronic controls also enable the computer-driven system to shift gears at the specific time indicated by the engine. Typically, these systems interface with the engine controls and can, more accurately than human drivers, tell when a transmission needs to shift. These electronic controls all feed into lock-up torque converters, which establish a mechanical connection inside of automatic transmissions. These lock-up converters mechanically interface between the pump and the turbine in automatics to achieve the same level of efficiency as manuals, if not better. With all of these advances combined, automatics are now just as good or better than manual transmissions. Only 3.1% of all cars sold in the US are equipped with manual transmissions in the modern era, and American teens simply aren't learning to drive manual. Automatics are also better off for off-roading due to the hectic nature of the driving as well as being superior for large trucking industries. Humans can be fairly precise when it comes to manual shifting and it's a lot more fun, but computer-driven interfaces win out in speed every time. Now, you may say, everyday cars have automatics because they're easy, but supercars would never switch to manuals. But that statement would be wrong. You can't buy a new Lamborghini, a new Ferrari, or a McLaren road car equipped with a manual transmission it's impossible. That's also bolstered by the fact that Mercedes, Range Rover, and Lexus all make automatic 7 to 8 or even 9 speed transmissions that far outperform their manual counterparts. Even cars designed for luxury and speed are switching to automatic transmissions. Technology is simply beating out old mechanical human interface. So then, how did automatic transmissions overtake manuals? Well, through the incorporation of innovative engineering and lightning speed digital processes. Automatic transmissions have better reaction and timing than humans ever could. This, unfortunately for car enthusiasts and manual lovers alike, means that computers can always outperform your shifting and maximize fuel efficiency and speed, perfectly in tune with the ability of the engine.